So with A false and B true, the output is false. Hey, what's happening guys? Today we're gonna fill a viewer request and talk a little bit about transistor, transistor logic, and logic gates. Now, a logic gate is a building block. It's the building block of all digital circuits. Most, because there are some strange ones out there, but most logic gates have two inputs and one output. And at any given time, the inputs change as the circuit is processing data. And every input can have two states. It's binary. It's either a one, which is on, and we're just gonna go with five volts in this case. It can be 3.3, it can be 1.8, depending on the circuit, but we're gonna stick with five volts. Or it can be zero, which is off, and that is zero volts. And that is the basics of how all digital logic works. It's either on or it's off. Now the logic state of a terminal changes very often, like I said, as the circuit processes data. And there are seven basic logic gates. There is an AND gate, an OR gate, the exclusive OR gate, the NOT gate, the NAND gate, the NOR gate, and the exclusive NOR gate. So all digital logic is basically built up of these seven gates. The first one is the AND gate, and it's drawn like this. This is your A input, your B input, and your output. And the way it works, the output is true, a one, if both inputs are true. So that's very simply the AND gate. Next, we have the OR gate. And it's drawn almost like the AND gate. except it has that little half circle there. And it gets its name from the logical inclusive OR. In this case, the output is true if either input is true or both inputs are true. Next, we have the exclusive OR, the XOR, and it is drawn like this. The XOR gate, the output is true if either, but not both inputs are true. So it's true if either are true but not both. Next, we have the NOT gate. And it is the logical inverter. So a NOT gate is simply a triangle. Boom, boom, little circle there. And it just inverts the signal. So if one, then zero. Pretty simple, right? Next up, we have the NAND gate. The NAND gate looks a lot like the AND gate, except it has the inverter here. 
So it is an AND gate followed by a NOT gate. And in this case, the output is false if both are true. Next, we have the NOR gate, which is a combination of the OR and the inverter. And the NOR gate, the output is true if both are false. And the final case, we have the exclusive NOR, which is an OR gate followed by an inverter. And it looks something like this. In this case, it is true if both are different. So that's a lot to grab all at once. But once you start working with it, it gets really simple. And again, this is the basics for all computers. So I've whipped up two simple circuits here, a NAND gate and a NOR gate, and we're gonna take a look at them. All right, so first up is our NAND gate, which again is the NOT AND, and there's its symbol. Now, if we take a look here, here is the circuit layer, layout, circuit layout of a NAND gate using two BJT NPN transistors. We have VCC coming down to the collector of the first transistor, and then the emitter feeds the collector of the second transistor and its emitter goes to ground. Now the output is tied to VCC and in this case we're going to use a simple LED for an output. And then we have our two inputs A and B which are both current limited by a resistor because these transistors don't need a whole lot of current. And then we'll work out the truth table for it. So here is our NAND gate. Now the question is, can I find my remote control? Nope. So we'll just zoom in by hand. All right, so what you see here is what I've worked up here. These are our inputs. This is input A, this is input B. They're both giving five volts. They're both current limited through two 1K resistors to the base of these two N2222 NPN transistors. The emitter of the second transistor is tied to ground. And then we have the collector of the first transistor, which is also feeding the output here. So, let me put some power to this and we'll give her a play. Okay, so here is our NAND gate and it's powered up. Both inputs are false, they're both zero, so the output is true. So we know that A is zero, B is zero, and our output is one. So if we press A, we make A true, no change. So with A true, B false, the output is still one. And then if we make B true, A false, B true, our output is still one. And then finally, if we make them both true, our output is now zero. And that's the operation of the NAND gate. So now let's take a look at the NOR gate. 
Remember the nor is the not or, and there is its symbol. Now the wiring looks more complex as it's drawn, but it's really not. So VCC comes down to the emitter, I mean the collector of the first transistor, and the emitter of the second, or the emitter of the first transistor, then goes down to ground. VCC also comes to the collector of the second transistor and its emitter ties to ground. And then also we have the output which is tied to an LED in our case. So here is this circuit. Again we have A and B with 1K current limiting resistors tied to the bases of both of these transistors. We have VCC going to the collectors and we have our output going to the LED and we have the emitters both going to ground. So let me put some power to this one and we'll put the truth table to it and see how it behaves. All right, we're powered up. Both inputs are zero, so our output is true. So zero, zero, one. Next, we'll give A, A true and B false. So one, zero, zero. Next we'll have B true and A false. Zero, one, zero. And then both of them true. One, one, zero. And that's just a very basic introduction to how some of these digital logic gates work. The reason I started with the NAND and the NOR is because they are the most commonly used in computers and I thought that might be the most interesting. So if you guys want to see some more logic gates, let me know down below. And if you like this, give me a thumbs up. Feel free to comment, share, and thanks for subscribing. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.